All right, next up, let's take off these way covers. Just one Allen on each side, 3 16 That one's already loose. And now let's, uh, let's loosen up the, like we did on the saddle. Got a little, whoa, come back here. All right, got the bolt out. Yeah, let's see if we can get that piece out. Well, I think we got everything removed. Let's strap it up and just try to lift it up with the bobcat and see what happens. Well, I guess that means we are not disconnected. starting to release now so it must have just been a, a little tight in there Okay, now that we got the knee off, let's go ahead and break down the jack screw. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Allen heads off the top here, it's just three, and they are 5.30 seconds. There you go. Now we've got two Allens in the base here, and those are five. Five sixteenths. And that's that. Looks like in all the excitement of moving the knee, we got off our boards here, so I'm gonna jack it back up, get the boards on the corners, and then we'll strap it down. It has a considerably lighter feeling. million years I didn't think it would spin like that. It's a lot of work. And uh, it's not over man. Now I gotta still haul that stuff back over to the basement. Man that was a lot of work. Broke it down into one, two, three, four, five pieces and that took pretty much all day long. I hope that uh, watching it when uh, when it picked up the load helps you guys to understand where the weight is on these things. So the next thing for me is to pick it all up again haul it about 20 feet into the basement, clean it, paint it, get it running again, and uh, hopefully get some good use out of this thing. Thanks for watching.